Judicial Watch is in court again this week. We have new documents about Hillary Clinton and the email scandal. Uh, first up are new documents we received about the sham investigation that the FBI conducted under Barack Obama into the Clinton email issue. You remember James Comey, Peter Strzok and Lisa Page, Andrew McCabe, Loretta Lynch, with the advice of Bill Clinton at that tarmac meeting perhaps. They ran the sham investigation into the Clinton email scandal. And uh, one of the ways we know it was a sham because they found hundreds of thousands of emails on Anthony Weiner's laptop. Anthony Weiner, the husband of, then husband of uh, Yuma Abedin, a Hillary Clinton aide who also had an email account on Hillary Clinton's secret email server. And they didn't do anything about it. And we've got the smoking gun. We just received it from the FBI and the Justice Department. And it was a document in an October 3rd, 2016 email from an FBI official to uh, someone in the Southern District of New York, uh, at least an, another FBI colleague of theirs in the Southern District of New York. And to take you a step back, they discovered the emails on Anthony Weiner's laptop that were Clinton related in September of 2016. They didn't tell Congress about it till October 27th of 2016. They didn't begin looking at the emails until that time either, so they sat on them for a month. Why? Because the Inspector General of the Justice Department, in looking at the issue, thought maybe that Peter Strzok's anti-Trump hatred had him focused more on trying to take down Trump than trying to enforce the rule of law against Hillary Clinton. Of course, Peter Strzok and Hillary Clinton's uh, agents, like Christopher Steele and Glenn Simpson and Nellie Orr, were working together. Of course, the IG didn't go that far, but that's the reality. So what a scandal that was. But as I said, we've got the smoking gun. The document says, just putting this on the record because of the optics of this case. So when you have an FBI guy put something on the record, it means he's worried. It means he's worried nothing's being done and he's documenting the decisions made by his supervisors and those in charge to not do anything. During the course of my review of a computer seized from Anthony Weiner, a seizure in search of which was authorized by a Southern District of New York search warrant, I encountered approximately at least 340,000 emails stored on the computer. The large number of emails appears to be a result of a mail client program installed on that computer that pulled emails from servers belonging to Anthony Weiner and Yuma Abedin. A significant number of three, 340,000 emails appear to be between Aberdeen and Hillary Clinton, the latter who appears to have used a number of different email addresses. So they found these Clinton emails with Aberdeen, and Hillary Clinton had multiple email addresses. This is based simply on a review of the header information. I did not review the contents of these emails, as the warrant only authorized me to view items that would give me probable cause to believe that CP, child pornography, because that was why they were looking at the Wiener laptop to begin with, although they should have been looking at it for other reasons, namely Abedin's involvement with Hillary Clinton, but you can't expect the FBI to follow basic leads when they're trying to cover up a, a criminal enterprise like this. Again, he only authorized me to, the Warren only authorized me to view items that would give me probable cause to believe that child pornography evidence may reside therein. SDNI, the Southern District of New York, is comfortable with me continuing, continuing my review as I have, meaning he's not reading the emails, which is to not read any emails from Anthony Weiner to which his wife or a possible attorney is a party. So they weren't looking, he didn't want to look at Weiner slash Wiener to Aberdeen and vice versa emails. Even if there is a third party on those emails, I will not review their content out of an abundance of caution. So he's not looking at another whole other group of emails. Obviously, this is the kicker, I will not review any emails to which Anthony Wiener is not a party, such as emails between Miss Aberdeen and Mrs. Clinton. I just wanted to formally bring this to your attention due to the pending election the ongoing congressional investigation into the FBI's own investigation into Mrs. Clinton's email activities, et cetera. Okay, this is a document that Judicial Watch obtained. It was not produced voluntarily by the Justice Department or the FBI. We had to sue for it. It was not obtained by Congress and it was not obtained by the media.
And it shows you that the FBI in October of 2016, there was someone upset enough to put on the record that I found all these Clinton emails and I'm not looking at them. And we know that's what you don't want, you know that's what you want me to do. And frankly, it was only the prospect of that cover up being leaked that caused James Comey to alert Congress that there were emails to be looked at. And then once that happened, it's been subsequently reported that all the emails that this gentleman found, I'm assuming it's a gentleman, it could have been a, a female agent, were not reviewed. So there are still Clinton emails that were not reviewed. And as I've pointed out from the Wiener laptop by all accounts, and as I've pointed out to you before, only 5,000 of the 33,000 emails that Hillary Clinton deleted or otherwise tried to hide from the American people were uncovered by the FBI. Is it any surprise that was the case when you see a document like this where they've got this mother load of emails and the agent who knows about it says I can't look at them or I'm not going to look at them because I know you don't want me to? Pretty incredible stuff. And again, it shows you why the Justice Department needs to immediately reopen the Clinton email scandal, uh, the Clinton email investigation. What is Jeff Sessions waiting for? What is Roger Rosenstein waiting for? What is Christopher Ray waiting for? They know the FBI investigation previously was a sham investigation. They know that Comey's excuses not to prosecute or recommend a prosecution for Hillary Clinton were fraudulent and corrupt. They know the whole investigation was compromised by anti-Trump bias and pro-Hillary Clinton bias. They know the Justice Department and the FBI that was supposed to be investigating with Hillary Clinton was actually collaborating with her campaign to try to destroy Donald Trump by gathering intelligence from foreign sources, including but not limited to Russia, and then using this intelligence that was just, just designed, it wasn't accurate, but designed to smear Trump to justify spy warrants and spying operations against President Trump's team or then candidate Trump's team, and later President Trump's team under Robert Mueller. The Justice Department is a mess. It's an absolute mess on this issue of the Clinton scandal and the attendant and related Russia scandal. Because the Russia scandal gives them an excuse not to investigate the Clinton scandal, don't you know it? There's news this week that Rod Rosenstein uh, is going to be questioned, or was going to be questioned, by Congress about his role in the effort to overthrow President Trump. Remember, there was this report a few weeks ago that he and Andrew McCabe, the acting FBI director at the time, had a meeting uh, at which uh, it was supposedly, according to Rosenstein, but no one else seems to think it was a joke, uh, that uh, Rosenstein or others interviewing for the FBI job of Fire Director Comey wear a wire, that they pursue the 25th Amendment, and that they appoint a special counsel. Rosenstein has yet to be questioned directly on that. And just today, it's being reported that he's agreed to be questioned only if there are two Republicans and two Democrats doing the questioning, and that those Republicans who have been following this like Jim Jordan, Mark Meadows, people like that, they're not going to be allowed to question him. So they're going to give a special favor to Rosenstein, treat him differently than they would any other witness by preventing Republicans from, uh, who know what's going on from doing the questioning.